Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we're going to be replacing the tire on this trailer. You can see we've got some really bad tread going on here. So we went to Lowe's and we bought a sport utility trailer tire and that should work out really good. We've also got a broken lug nut back here. So we're going to replace that as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Pretty basic here. We're going to go ahead and loosen up these lug nuts. There's four of them instead of five because one's broke off. So we'll, we'll break all those loose. We'll put the jack under there, lift it up. And pull this tire off. And then we'll see if we can't get that lug nut out of there. Or that lug. These are the lug nuts. Remember to always support your vehicle, your trailer. You know, put it on the axle um, to try to make sure you just, just lift without you know, really lifting the load of the leaf spring. We're using a twisty jack, came out of the Ford, and we've already twisted it up. You see our tires off the ground. It spins around pretty easy. Pulled out these lug nuts. So now we're just gonna go ahead and pull this tire off. Pretty simple. And here is our broken lug, and it's really broken off. We're gonna try to get this out of here if we can. So the first thing I'm going to do is anything will help. Let's go ahead and spray some kind of WD, some kind of liquid thing in there to see if it'll come loose. So you can see it has like gear teeth around it and that's what's holding that lug in place inside there. So we've got to get that out of there whether we press it. I'm going to try to hammer it. Just gently see if we can't force it out of there. And I'm going to give it a couple of good whacks to see. It started to come out. I'm probably going to have to get a punch and uh, push it through there. So let me get a punch. A punch is really made of steel, and, but I'm just going to use this bolt and see if we can't just pound it through there. Excellent. Popped right out. Let's find that piece. Next, we're going to hope that this fits slide it in and somehow we've got to be able to pull this piece in the air I just use a hammer on there <laughs> I think it'll be all right okay so now we're ready to put our new tire on apparently that trailer had some really loose lug nuts and you can see how the shiny one is really tapered but the old one it's just totally sheared away. So we really need to just replace those lugs, the lug nut itself, and uh, that should solve our problem. So basically just get these guys started on here, and then we'll use our four-way to kind of snug them up. And this trailer tire will be complete. So we're on to our last lug. Go ahead and spin that on there, you know, get it good and snug on here. Then we'll go ahead and lower the trailer down so we've got weight on the tire and really tighten them up. Remember, we're just using a spin, spin jack here from the Ford. Works real good. Kind of a pain to get in and out of the spot in the Ford, but hey, you know what? They did a good job in design, keeping things simple. Ford and Chevy too. I've got a Chevy. So the last thing we're going to do is go ahead and tighten up these lug nuts. We want to get them good and tight. Remember to do a star pattern. I feel a whole lot better having five lugs on this trailer. We load it down with you know, close to, <laughs> well, we're a little over the limit. Put it, put it that way. We put gravel and trencher in here and we really fill this thing up. More time, that should do it. There we go. So here's our new tire. Looks good on there too. All new lug nuts, one new lug. I don't know if you remember, but that only took me 30 seconds to put that lug in there. That lug cost $1.89. So that's the way you do it. 
Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.